Hello YouTubers. I've been meeting uh, put up a video of this my latest air rifle I bought and plus I've had a couple of emails from friends wanting to see it so here goes. This is the Hammerly Numa Elite 22 caliber PCP air rifle aka uh, Hatsan AT44 PA PCP air rifle. The reason I say aka Hatsan is because this gun is actually made by Hatsan in, their, in a factory in Turkey under the name of Hammerly. <clears throat> but this gun is no longer available in Hammerly in the 22 caliber only in the 177. You can buy this Hatsan the AT44 model in the 22 caliber and 25 caliber by the way. Uh, kind of a strange deal going on with hats and hammerly these are not available anymore only the 22 caliber as I said and hat sand is in Turkey now hammerly is in uh, in Turkey I mean in Sweden Switzerland excuse me uh, they've partnered up with Walder and they're making competition air rifles and 22 caliber competition so we might as well be talking about the hat sand. If you want 22 caliber, we're talking about the hat sand uh, 44 AT because that's what you would have to buy. Uh, this is a very nice, well-made uh, air rifle. Is all I can tell you about it. Uh, even to the this thing shoots straight. I don't. Even, my 22 rifle won't even shoot as straight as this thing. It's the straightest ri shooting rifle I've ever seen. And part of that, I think, is because of the, the barrel is, uh, is a one-piece barrel. Most barrels, most uh, air gun barrels are sleeved with a brass sleeve in them. This is all machine. As one. I was saying, this is an all one-piece barrel. And uh, the end comes off right here. So you can uh, put a compensator on it or a uh, muzzle brake. There's a shot of the barrel, you can't see very well, and the air tank. I don't really like this air tank. Uh, I mean, I like the air tank. I don't like the gauge being in the front because I don't like looking down the barrel of a gun when I'm trying to read the pressure. But uh, there's a reason for it is because this tank is removable. So if you're out hunting or something, you can buy a spare tank for this and you can just carry an extra tank with you. You, you can get about 40 good shots, high pressure shots out of this, about 60 all together. The last 20, you know, you just want to plank with them because I wouldn't hunt with it. That is, I wouldn't hunt with the last 20 shots. Well here it is, the tank is out, as you can see, and like I said, you can buy spare tanks for these in case you don't uh, want to spend the money and, and buy a, an air tank to refill these with that are about $600 by the time you get done. I don't know if it's really worth it. I bought this uh, Benjamin air pump, this is about $150, but if you buy the Benjamin, they're about the cheapest on the market and quite frankly I think they're all about the same. Uh, you have to buy this adapter for it, which I'll, I'll give you a reference where to get it. And uh, it comes with the end that fits right in here to pump it up. You can pump it up to uh, 2900 PSI, which is 200 bar. And I wouldn't go above that because uh, in the book it says that the, the uh, valve can stick in it and you have to send it back to the factory to get the valve unstuck so you know I would I would follow those guidelines of 29 no more than 2900 PSI that's how it looks when it's hooked up the Benjamin pump has its own gauge in it as well as there's a gauge on the front of this this isn't your average bicycle pump either it's a very high pressure pump <coughs> this thing will pump up to 5000 PSI I've mounted the scope on it 
this gun does not come with a scope when you buy it. You, if you want a scope on it, which I highly recommend, you have to purchase your own. This is the adjustment for the illuminated reticle is why I couldn't get it off of there. Let me uh, see if I can show you the reticle. The reticle adjusts neither green or so red. If you're out there in the evening, you can see the reticle on it. The scope adjustments, they're both capped, weatherproof caps on them. But when you take them off, unlike a lot of scopes and most scopes, you can adjust these by hand. You don't need a screwdriver. Both, both of them are like that. So that's another plus for this scope. I wouldn't be ashamed to put this on my hunting rifle. On my 30 odd 6 to tell you the truth. Very nice scope. And I would highly recommend putting a scope on it. Uh, because although it's a 22 and it has plenty of knockdown power, it hasn't got the muzzle energy of a, say, a 22 long rifle. If you hit small to medium game with a 22 or like a rabbit, if you hit him in the hindquarters, you're probably going to kill him just from shock. But you've got a muzzle velocity of about 130 on a 22 long rifle. I mean, the muzzle energy is about 130 pounds off a 22 long rifle. Where the 22 pellet, the, the ones I shoot anyway, they're 18 grain has got about 50, 50 pounds of muzzle, muzzle energy. So a standard 14 gram pellet would be like getting hit with a tack hammer uh, versus 18 gram ball peen hammer. And you, I, you can go all the way up to the ungene 32 gram, and it'd be like getting hit with a sledgehammer with this thing. They're uh, very powerful and I personally wouldn't want to get shot with one. But anyway, the, the reason I, I would highly recommend a, a scope is because shot placement is very, very important when hunting with this thing because of the muzzle energy coming out of it you're not shooting a 22 long rifle it may, it may seem like you are but you're not so accuracy counts in that respect you want a head shot or a hard shot now hat sand slash hammerly is quoting the fps uh, speed from these things at 970 feet per second which is pretty dang fast uh, most companies when they quote a FPS speed, they're using aluminum pellets. And one thing I'll say for Hat Sand and Hammerly, when they test, they use lead pellets. So they're giving you an honest uh, muzzle velocity out of this thing, which is 970, probably with, I'd say, a 14 gram lead pellet. While uh, FPS is important and it's nice, it's, it's not as important as the muzzle velocity, how much energy is coming out of the end of this, I mean the muzzle energy, how much energy is coming out of the end of the barrel. Uh, you, your pellet may fly, a light pellet may fly faster, but it's not going to fly as far and it's not going to have a hard impact as a heavier pellet. That's why I hunt with a heavier pellet. It, it, it does more damage and it, plus it's more accurate, it'll fly further. Now the best pellets I've found for this is these exact jumbo heavies. They're 18.13 uh, gram and I did some, I don't have a crony so I had to do myself the best I could. But this top one is a Game O Magnum. Did all right. Uh, this next one is a TS-22, 22 gram. It, it didn't pan out too good. Next one is the Diablo 18.3 gram, the one I just showed you here. And it, it sunk he further than any other pellet, although not the heaviest pellet. So that's the one I'm kind of using now. Uh, this is Crossman Hollow Point 14.2 gram, and that, that is probably the all around pellet to use. If you're planking or just out shooting for fun, I, I'd probably use that. But if you're hunting, I'd use the exact jumbo. Uh, this last one's a Beeman Kodiak. 
and it didn't do too bad either so right here this is through was the tailgate of my pickup truck until somebody pulled a fifth wheel through it and kind of accordioned it but this is the exact jumbo heavy and the second shot went through this and it's not exactly thin and this other is aluminum it's got more tensile strength so it's just going to bend but it's not a thin piece of aluminum either this is some more of my tore up tailgate I cut it up and decided to make targets out of it and most of this has been shot with the Hammerly a little bit with the Benjamin XL 22 pretty well murdered my targets and they're made out of the same steel that it was I think I need to go out and pound them back straight but little guns are a lot of fun well I'm gonna wrap it up on this gun uh, leave your comments in the comment section if you have any questions go ahead and ask them and I'll answer the best I can but please rate and subscribe once again to you electronic dog bye yeah and one last thing and probably the most important of all I've been wanting a PCP air rifle uh, but you know they're kinda spendy a nice one a good one is about seven six seven hundred dollars until I ran across this and it, this was two ninety nine that fit my budget so I bought it and I'll tell you I have not been disappointed if I would bought this first I bought no other rifle and I've got about five of them air rifles so keep that in mind that the uh, hat sand is a hundred dollars more why I don't I have no idea but uh, the hat sand is three ninety nine you can only buy this in 177 now and they're 299 y'all have a good day bye